we do have a bit of splicing to do with this one as you can see this has gone here so we're gonna splice on a piece uh, go like that then we can overlay like that so I can work out the shape of it from this other piece it's the opposite side so we can splice in a piece I'll cut a cut it across here to the other side and we'll then cut another piece glue it and clamp it and then I'll cut out the shape because this one needs to secure with the screws for in right now as you can see there's nothing to actually hold the screw it'll just pull through so we'll uh, cut that as well so it's a bit, as we go down like I said there's a bit more work on that uh, a bit more denigration in the wood so yeah fun times get on to that okay so I took off these other pieces off our legs there match them up this one I've cleaned up already I think this one's pretty good to be glued together I'm just using this one right now to uh, help me graph this piece on just so you can see the difference in what's missing I shaved it off square with a drop saw and then we're just going to try and match the grain and that's pretty much going with the grain so we're going to glue that in I'll use some tiny little dowels I've got I'll show you that but yeah we'll just get tiny little dowels and we'll uh, glue that okay so just did the dowels in there I just round out that a little bit it'll be hard to do it later uh, we'll a little bit of offset but yeah just use these small little dowels there bomb that together so that's all glued together so it'll be dry enough tomorrow to sand uh, I clamp it and then just draw out the shape so I can then glue this all together tonight um, that'll be good to go that'll be all finished up tomorrow we can give her a light sand check that to the side um, I wasn't going to actually secure this to the bottom but I think I will now because that will give me my proper width for my foot reset that I've got to make we'll do that uh, didn't want to be banging the tacks in there but we'll work that part out when we get there um, I think yeah get on to that yeah glue that Glue this, I think that might be a day. Uh, then tomorrow, yeah, we can sand up this one hopefully, clean this up, start making that foot rest. And I might try to start taking uh, this apart. I've cut the uh, new part for the tray, haven't cut it down yet, I've just cut the uh, out of our piece of oak, I just cut out the uh, uh, length of it, same width. It's still got to be uh, taken down width-wise. Now just got to work out how to build a steamer. Make our steam box here. I'll see what I've got kicking around, and then I'll just have to pick up a, a wallpaper stripper steam box here. See what we can find online, and uh, to use for that. Um, but I'll have to draw all this out anyway. Um, I think I'll probably even have to cut the, uh, it's best to cut this groove in where the tray slots into, cut all that first, do all those kind of things because that will be pretty much impossible to do for me later. So I'll have to cut those in, do all that, but and all the drill holes too I think, or maybe I can do those later, those ones, uh, stuff, but that's where we're at, so yeah, we'll glue that graft on and glue this other one that's all ready to go together and tomorrow we can finish this off pair it all up with its partner there and those should be ready to be glued on to the bottom it's a couple of days we'll do that these should all be ready to go 
Actually, this one should be ready to go tomorrow. Actually, I can glue that one on. Dowel. Put the holes back in and secure that back on. Uh, yeah, it's only one hole for those, so we'll get those in. And uh, yeah, start moving on to this mess. Start cleaning it up. It is nice, it is coming together. So yeah, okay, we'll get these together. Uh, see how they looked all clamped up, and that'll be it for the day. Okay, got that one clamped, and I just drew the rough outline of what we needed. Put a bit of filler in there. So that will look a bit dry tonight. We can cut it, start putting that one together. This one was kind of a prick to put together just because of the angles. So that's the way I've jimmied it up. It's clamped it pretty good. Um, so yeah, let that sit overnight. The glue actually sets a lot faster. I still like to let it sit a uh, good 12 hours before I start using it again. These new PVAs, wood glues. Uh, Pretty fast setting, but again, let's have a bit more time than a few hours. Good morning, another day. Um, so that came out pretty good. I was just trimming and mucking around with the uh, seat template there. I think I've got it pretty much down. Mark the little X's here where the actual tacks go through. And that so I think we came out pretty good with that slight warp to it but very minor uh, got that all put together we'll cut it I'll we'll give it a sand and a, a touch up uh, that one looks very horse shoeish but that's all good See if I can get that one glued up today. So when I actually uh, got it, I think it was this was kind of this was connected to that only by the two pins through there. That had already broken off. I see no seat, and the front was not there. So it was in a pretty bad way, but slowly coming back together. It's looking pretty cool. So. I think today I'm going to just sand this up a little bit. Uh, just sand any more residue that I've got lying around on this guy. Clean it up. Glue this on. Cut this piece off. Just clean up these pieces. And we'll glue that one up. Um, and see where we're at. Okay. We sanded that other piece up. I just cleaned up the other one of the turn pieces that go in between that holds the mechanism that actually locks the seat in or the legs in from moving it has all the screws in it goes on the back there that's the back of the seat we we'll use this mechanism under here I just want to clean that up a little bit um, so I cut that down noticeable but will age in time, another hundred years. Uh, one of the other things I have to do is just cut out this piece. Try to work out how to do it nicely. Um, now they would have chiseled it out. I don't think I have a chisel that small, so I'm just going to have to work out how to do that. I just have to cut out that piece. And that's where the uh, footrest slots into. Um, so once I get these, once I get these actually uh, mounted up under the seat, then I can work out the width of the footrest um, precisely. So once I get this piece in, so I can glue all this together, to, uh, probably tomorrow, and then at least yeah, then I can work out the width of that, cut all that, and then it just slots in. So things through it. I don't think there's really much more there. I've just got to. Put a little bit of filler in there. This pee was kind of a little bit punky almost. But 
starting to feel like balsa. Um, so yeah, probably try and dismantle some of this. Maybe just the one side I'll start with first. Those are looking better. We haven't got a big sprawl of parts all across here now. Well, not as much as we had, so we will carry on. I'll try and dismantle this. Okay. As you get uh, that apart, um, same kind of problem up top that. So here we should should be like. So yeah, that hole there should be more like this one, but it's just a very thin piece between. So I've just got to work out how I'm gonna fix that. It's a bit of a tricky one. Uh, it's so thin a piece. Um, ridiculously thin actually. So not too sure what we're gonna do with that. So I'll work out something. I got all the pieces off. I'm just going to work on one side at a time. Um, just got to clean these ends up. I was going to graft a piece in, but I was just looking at it. It's kind of meant to be flat across here, and I just gets wear over time. So I'm going to leave that as is. Just clean it up, smooth it off a bit. Um, yeah, I'll clean one piece up at a time. I'll do this side, then I'll do the other side, then I can put it back together. Uh, that way I don't uh, get all the pieces. I want to put the pieces that came off the this back on here so I don't get them all mixed up so I'll just do that at one piece at a time so yeah let's carry on so I made my little uh, filler for that hole there so we can uh, fill it so it's like this guy here in very thin and all we did was uh, use a hole saw this guy's a little bit bigger, so I had to sand, uh, I drew my core out, and then we kind of round them off when he was still bigger, and then we sand them right down thin. Made it feel easy. Uh, yeah, so that should be full. We'll sort of plug them in there, glue them, plug them in, and uh, yeah, I'll drill a hole through. Um, it's really for more for looks, I think, because we'll glue the uh, wherever that one was there back in again. We'll glue it in, and then the screws will kind of just be there for looks, I think, for the most part. Um, but at least that kind of fills it back in again, makes an easy fix. Yeah. So I thought I'd just give you a shot of the before and after. So, of course, before. We just wire brush it. I just get the uh, wire brush and I put that on the uh, drill. We just clean it up. Then we just give it a light oil. Put that gun, gun oil. Okay, oil. <laughs> it comes up, yeah. It comes up nice. Gives it kind of a bit of a patina old look. It gets rid of that rust. So, that. Uh, so we clamped. The other side of the underneath, the other bracket that goes underneath the seat. Uh, that's what again, I'll leave that glue. Ended up just cutting and chiseling out the piece through there. Uh, I've got the other plug in there, just gluing. Got that a sandblader. Uh, I'll pull this one down the other side, opposite side to this guy. Give it a clean up. Yeah, you can get a bit of a look of what the color used to be. And that, that was under the bracket, I just took it off there. Um, yeah, get this other wheel off. I clean this one up. Uh, it had all its holes good, so that one will be ready to go. Just needs to sand, clean up, I'll clean these up. Uh, I've actually got one of the wheels here too. I'll give you a Before and after, they do come out looking pretty good. A bit of an oil, so yeah, carry on. That's gonna be my project today. Is do that. I don't think I want to start separating the other one. Just gets too many parts lying around. 
kind of got these parts all sitting over there all marked up so I know which goes back to this side so got that yeah we get that all glued up that's all sitting now get this off sand it this one can pretty much go back together okay pretty much the end of my day um, in this mess uh, so I ended up pulling the other one apart got all the piles where everything goes together separated so <coughs> I can know what goes where glued this guy on um, just squared him up made sure he was square with here and there because you don't need that all going off wonky um, yeah we grafted this in I'll put the plug on the other side too um, and I'm probably gonna end up doing this end piece too it's a bit gone so we might just cut the red tip off and graft a piece in there and I've got to put a plug on that one too because that one is pretty much done so that one tomorrow um, but yeah no quite a bit of progress today we should well yeah tomorrow this other piece will go on that'll all be done we can clean that up and glue that one on so that'll be pretty much the top half all done and then it's just working on the legs and then the very last part will be the tray that I do I think that's kind of the hardest for me to do but uh, yeah we'll get there in the end um, I'm gonna try and track down I have to try and track down some more of these uh, older type screws some of them are just totally rotted out not many <coughs> mainly just the roundhead ones um, all the flat heads were actually pretty good didn't need to do anything with that um, yeah so let's glue up overnight and then we'll uh, cut its shape out redrill this hole for its wheel and then we'll graft another piece onto that other leg and then that one will be done um, and then I should be out tomorrow I should actually start being able to work out I'll get the width of this uh, footrest in here we can start drawing that up and cut a piece out for that okay so yeah we'll catch you tomorrow continue get as far as we can and uh, yeah see where we're at